An advisor to the operator of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi has called on the company to do more to make sure the decommissioning work is done safely. <laughs> Tokyo Electric Power Company has asked a panel of experts to monitor its efforts in the wake of the nuclear accident three years ago. Utility officials explained they had experienced a series of problems with the system designed to remove radioactive substances from contaminated water. Officials said they have yet to escape the vicious circle of relying on makeshift systems, which often lead to new troubles. Former U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission Chairman Dale Klein said the staff at the Fukushima Daiichi plant lacks a culture of safety. This lack of a nuclear safety culture is demonstrated by you not expecting the unexpected. Executives at the company said they will seek expertise from abroad to improve their work in Fukushima Daiichi's unique circumstances.
Enjoy what you can, everybody. The people in charge of a nuclear facility in southwestern Japan may be one step closer to resuming operations. The Sendai nuclear power plant in Kagoshima Prefecture has entered the final stage of a new safety screening process. Kyushu Electric Power Company operates the Sendai plant. Executives have submitted a revised report to regulators outlining the safety measures they're adopting. They include raising the maximum possible level of tremors and tsunami from earthquakes. All of Japan's 48 commercial reactors have been offline. The utilities that operate them must pass new safety standards. Regulators imposed them after the Fukushima nuclear accident three years ago. The reactors at the Sendai plant will likely be the first to gain approval to resume operations. Regulators plan to complete a safety assessment for the plant by the end of May, and approval could come as early as the end of June. We want to try our best to resume operations by the summer. But there's still more that needs to be done. Work to reinforce the facility against tsunami has yet to be completed, and regulators still need to perform on-site inspections. The operator must also gain the consent of local government leaders to get the plant running again. <laughs> World Health Organization have sounded another alarm about so-called superbugs. They warn strains of bacteria resistant to drugs have spread to every corner of the globe. And they say antibiotics could eventually become useless. Researchers analyzed data on seven kinds of bacteria submitted by authorities from 114 countries. Their report highlighted the dangers to hospital patients. It says in parts of the Americas, up to 90 percent of a kind of staph infection are resistant to one class of drugs. And it says antibiotics for the bacteria that causes pneumonia proved ineffective in more than half of patients in many African countries. The researchers are calling on public health officials to develop common approaches and to share information on resistance. They say health professionals must find new ways to treat infected patients. Thousands of people have celebrated the opening of this year's tourist season at the gateway to Japan's Northern Alps. Some 3,000 people were at the opening event to wish for the safe arrival of as many visitors as possible. Shinto priests offered a ritual prayer. Kamikochi sits on a plateau about 1,500 meters above sea level. It attracts around a million and a half visitors annually. This year's first tourists caught a glimpse of snow on the Hotaka mountain range. Others got creative on the riverbank, capturing the scene in their own unique way. It's so beautiful, and the air is so clean here. There's not much snow left, so I'm looking forward to some mountaineering. A local community leader says he hopes plenty of tourists will visit the area to savor the beautiful alpine environment. The 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games are just six years away, and the Japanese Olympic Committee is already making preparations for the event. An athlete training program is set to launch earlier than usual as part of efforts to win more medals for the host country. In the past, the JLC has started athlete training just after the end of the Games to allow four years of preparations for the next Olympics. For 2020, Japan has set a target of getting the third most gold medals of any country, or 20 to 33 top prizes. Another goal is for at least one Japanese athlete to place in the top eight in every sport. The JLC will officially launch the project on May 8th. Oh yeah, go on, click the subscribe button. We need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the Remix button, hit the Remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.